Essex got back to winning ways, defeating Hampshire by six wickets with eight overs to spare in Southampton. The Eagles had lost their last two matches and so really needed a victory on the road here. And in spite of losing the toss, they soon had Hampshire in trouble on 36 for four after nine overs. After David Masters had removed Michael Carberry for six with 31 runs on the board, Jimmy Adams trod on his own wicket to the very next ball to give Reese Topley an unusual dismissal. Jamie Porter was given a List A debut and was soon causing problems as both James Vince and Adam Wheater, against his former county, fell cheaply in the space of three deliveries. Hampshire losing four wickets for five runs to immediately have them on the back foot in this important Royal London One Day Cup match. Having then slipped to 68 for five, the home team was saved by Will Smith and Liam Dawson who added 124 runs for the sixth wicket in 24 overs. Both men made 50s. Dawson's coming off 69 balls with just the three fours included in that, while Smith was at his off six deliveries fewer with the same number of boundaries. This pair carried the total up to 190 for five with 10 overs of their innings to go. And if they could finish strongly, then that awful start would soon be forgotten. Instead, they collapsed again. Smith was out for 63 and then Topley took over. First up, he, with some help from Masters, ran out Chris Wood for a single after a horrible mix-up between the two batsmen. And then the left armour followed that up by bowling Mason Crane for the same score. After Dawson had departed for 85, Topley ended with figures of 4 for 26 from 8.5 overs as he removed last man Fidel Edwards. Hampshire losing their last five wickets for 17 runs in five overs to be dismissed for 209. And that total was soon seen to be what it was, one that was simply not big enough. An opening partnership of 122 in 23 overs saw to that, as Nick Brown and Mark Patini both passed the 50 mark. Brown was especially fluent in getting to his half century of 47 balls, while his partner was a little more careful in making his from 74 shortly after Brown had been dismissed for a speedy 69. From there, there was no way back for the home team who were on their way to a second defeat in this competition, while the Eagles were to win for a third time to leapfrog their hosts in the Group B table. Tom Wesley also struck a 50 as the visitors cantered towards their target. Wesley and Jesse Ryder were both out before the victory was secured, but Essex took the game by six wickets with 48 balls to spare, to move back into second place in the group table with two more games to play. The next against Middlesex in Colchester, while Hampshire are in third and now head to Warwickshire.